Good morning, class of 2023. Welcome to KNN, your most accurate and reliable and totally not fake student-run news source here at the Mountain. I'm Jono. And I'm Abel. So here at the Mountain, there are a lot of do's and don'ts. Like, do always respect your seniors and never look them directly in the eyes. Breaking news, we've received transmission from the second coolest Mr. Stark, your principal. Good morning, class of 2023, and welcome to Freshman Orientation. My name is Nathan Stark, and I'm the proud principal of Kennesaw Mountain High School. Welcome to our family. At Kennesaw Mountain, our mission is to be a community of learners committed to student success. Our vision is that all KMHS students are career or college ready. We're so excited you're here this morning. I wanted to take just a minute to remind you parents to get involved with the PTSA. They're here this morning and would love to chat with you about opportunities to be involved. We also encourage you to be involved in your uh, students' um, education through the PTSA newsletter, which provides information about what's going on at the school, checking grades on Pinnacle, and also through teachers' blogs. Now, here's an opportunity to hear from Mr. Morris. Hey, what's up, Kennesaw Mountain? My name is Brandon Morris. I'm one of your administrators. I am the ninth grade administrator for discipline. I'm also in charge of the special ed department and scheduling. So what that means is I'm the guy that makes sure that you get the correct schedule. You received your schedules earlier today, and that could change between now and the very first day of school. So whatever you receive that first day of school in homeroom, please make sure that you follow that schedule all day long. Now, if there's something wrong with that schedule, you have an incorrect class, then what you can do is complete a waiver change form and you can access that online. You can go to the KMHS website and then hit the Arts, Athletics, Academics tab, and then you scroll down to uh, Curriculum and Scheduling, and then on that site there's going to be forms that you can fill out uh, to put in a waiver application. If you have any other questions, please let me know. My office is in the back of the Media Center. Thanks, and we're happy to have you here as part of the Mustang family. And now to Dr. Stoddard, the newest administrator at the Mountain. We'll see how long she stays. Yeah, the school's a mess. Finds out about the cult. <laughs> Hi, and welcome, class of 2023. It's kind of exciting to say. And welcome to the Mountain. Like you, I'm new as well. My name is Dr. Stoddard, and I will be looking out for 12th grade um, as far as any discipline or redirection. Um, I also am going to supervise the math and the career tech area, so those teachers and those classes will fall under my administration. And then I also am going to have 504s. If you know what that is, then you'll, you'll get to know me pretty well. I'm really looking forward to just being here and being a part of this, as I know you all are excited to start your four years of high school. Good luck, and if you need anything, please don't hesitate to come see me. I'm in admin, too. All right, next we're going to Mr. Matthews. Did, uh, did we have any jokes for Mr. Matthews at all? No, I don't think we have anything prepared today. Uh, boy, 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 mm -hmm. server boy, come here. Uh, can you go do a quick interview with Mr. Matthews, please? I've never been on camera before. Just do it, and then give me a coffee. Uh, okay, do you want anything? Yeah, give me one, too. Yeah, all go right. to Starbucks, give me, like, a tall mocha cappuccino, maybe? All right, go, go! What are you doing? Go! Good morning, and welcome to the students and parents of the class of 2023 at the Kennesaw Mountain High School. My name is Philip Matthews, and I am an assistant principal and the athletic director here at Kennesaw Mountain. I am also in charge of textbooks this year. The textbook room will be open Friday, August the 2nd, through Wednesday, August the 7th, before school, after school, and during all lunches. It will also be open for an additional week during all lunches if you're not able to check your textbook out the first few days. I'm also the athletic director. This year, we have all sports passes available for sale through MyPaymentsPlus.com. The cost is $60 for adults and $65 for students. You might ask yourself, why does it cost more for students? Well, this year, the $65 includes not only access to all regular season games here at Kennesaw Mountain, it also includes your class dues, 
which includes a class t-shirt. So please go to mypaymentsplus.com and order your sports passes today. Just for a frame of reference, the entry fee to all home football games is $8. So if you attend all five home games for football, that's $40. So if you go to any events on top of that, it's you know well within, you're just going to save a lot of money by buying your sports pass. Um, additionally, in terms of athletics, it is important to have physicals and eligibility submitted before your season started. All physicals must be submitted through the parent portal on uh, Synergy. And so you can do athletic registration through that and have your physicals uploaded to the website. The other thing is eligibility. As an incoming ninth grader, you are already eligible for all athletic events this semester. However, moving forward, you have to make adequate yearly progress with your academics in order to remain eligible. You must obtain two and a half credits every semester in order to remain eligible, and you have to have five credits at the end of your ninth grade year to be eligible for your sophomore year. So just for an example, let's say you make the basketball team. You're already eligible this semester for basketball, but you must pass two and a half out of your four credits to be eligible for second semester. So just make sure we're taking care of our academics in the classroom because if you want to be a successful athlete at this school, and especially if you're looking at college options for athletics, ath academics is the most important thing you can focus on. Thank you. So next up we have Mr. Richardson. He's our freshman disciplinarian. Some of you will get to know him well. I know we have, am I right? <laughs> yeah. Am I right? <laughs> Anyways, here's Mr. Richardson. Good morning, Mustangs, and welcome to the Mustang family. We're so, so excited that the class of 2023 is joining our family. And here's a few notes. Buses, your first way here. One thing to remember, buses are a privilege, not a right. All right, did you know Cobb County School District Transportation, which consists of 875 bus drivers, they drive over 68 thousand six hundred and seventy three miles traveled per day they have been named by the governor at, to win the Georgia's top transportation safety award and do you know you have a part of that you have a part in that by helping our bus drivers being on time at the bus stop making sure you follow the policies and procedures on the bus keep all body parts in the bus do not throw things, no loud screaming or anything else to deter our bus drivers from their main job, getting you to school and home safely. We are really excited about our bus drivers. We know they are the best of the best. Now we know Cobb County bus drivers are the best. So come the first day of school, congratulate your bus driver. Students, research shows, and this only works in high school, the more involved you are in high school, the higher your grades are. No one understands it. There's heaps of research showing more involvement, better grades. More involvement, you're a stakeholder in the school. We have 72 clubs at Kennesaw Mountain High School. Go to our website, check our, our clubs, and see what you want to get involved in. If you don't see something that you really want, then come and see me, and we'll start a new club. All we have to do is find a sponsor. We want you to be involved. 72 clubs, over 30 athletic teams, you have an opportunity to become whatever you want and be the leader that we know you can. Because at, Ken at Kennesaw Mountain High School, we do raise leaders. Talking about that, we have kids all summer working, being servant leaders to our community. The school averages over 30,000 hours of community service a year because our students have learned to be a part of our community, to be a stakeholder in the community, not only at school, the community, and abroad. We have programs with the Atlanta Braves. We have programs with Kennesaw Business Association. A lot of business people want to be involved with us, which is a win-win for you because the better your grades, the better you serve, more and more businesses want to hire nothing but Kennesaw Mountain High School students. All right, what is the expectations from our students, staff, and community? It is that we raise a student of character, of moral character, and a servant leader. If you look at the J policies, you can find those on the Cobb County website under Board of Education, hit policies, and then look at the J policies 
the code of conduct is there. It is sort of strict, but you know what it does for you? It makes you a better person, someone that employers want to hire. We've been told over and over in the Kennesaw Business Associations that when they have a job opening, they will look for Kennesaw Mountain High School students first to hire them because they know what type of student they're getting. They get a person of high moral character, servant leadership, and someone they can depend on. So look at the J policies, and right now we're going to highlight some of the, the ones that you really need to know to be successful at Kennesaw Mountain High School. Here's some basic rules we all need to know. The codes of conduct are in effect 24-7 on district property, at school-sponsored events held off campus, and events sponsored by school support organizations such as booster clubs, PTA, etc. Off-campus offenses, which are felonies or would be a felony if committed by an adult, may also result in school discipline. Parents and students have 14 days from the time of the incident to report the felony to the school administration. Students will be suspended and possibly recommended for expulsion for possession, use, sale, or purchase of alcohol or other drugs on district property. Middle school offenses for these offenses accumulate in grades 6 through 8 and 8 through 12. Over-the-counter medication cannot be sold or distributed by a student on district property or an event. Administrative Rule JGCD-R must be followed with all over-the-counter medications. Prescription drugs must be in an original container and prescribed for the student in possession. Students may not bring diet pills, caffeine pills, or other stimulants on district property. Possession or use of a lighter, matches, fireworks, smoke or stink bombs, or similar devices may result in out-of-school suspension. JCDA-R prohibits the use or possession of tobacco or tobacco product substitutes, cigarette lookalikes, vapes, jewels, hookahs, hookah lookalikes on school property and at school sponsored events. No weapons or lookalike weapons. Students are not allowed to be in the possession of weapons on district property or at school events or at events sponsored by school support organizations. It is the responsibility of the student to ensure that weapons are not in book bags, purses, or cars before coming onto district property. Gang behavior is not tolerated. Repeated violations may lead to expulsion from school. Please read paragraph K of JCDA-R carefully. Parents, Carefully read paragraph R of JCDA-R explaining physical altercations. Basically, if students keep hands, feet, arms, legs to themselves, they will not violate this category. Students who violate this policy will be suspended for 10 days and receive police charges. Any form of physical violence will result in suspension. This includes horseplay, slap boxing, and fist fighting. The R policies will result in 10 days suspension and police charges for all parties that threw a punch, kick, or wrestling move. A student may not make intentional physical contact of an insulting or provoking nature with a district employee, physically threaten a district employee, or physically harm a district employee. Georgia law protects the staff member and mandates suspension and or expulsion from school for any student found to have violated section R1-A, B, or C of JCDA-R. Harassment, intimidation, threatening behavior and bullying, or cyberbullying are not tolerated. Vandalism and theft of personal or district property is a suspension or expulsion offense. Students and or parents will be held for restitution. Paragraph U of JCDA-R, Sexual Offenses, addresses serious offenses. No student shall consent to and participate in any form of sexual activity. This includes 
public display of affection. No student shall commit any act of verbal, written, gesture-oriented, or physical sexual misconduct on school property, school buses, at school-sponsored events, or while using school technology resources. Georgia law requires incidents of sexual battery to be reported to law enforcement. Cell phones and electronic devices. Students shall not use, display, or turn on smartwatches, cellular phones, video phones, or electronic devices including AirPods or earbuds during instructional time for non-instructional purposes and without the express permission of the teacher. Students shall not use audio or visual recording devices without the permission of a school administrator or as permitted by Administrative Rule JG1-R, Monitoring Recording Staff and Students. This includes, but is not limited to, using recording devices to record, photograph, or record misbehaviors or to violate the privacy of others. Parents, please review with your students the strict policies for using personal technology devices and programs at school. Failure to adhere to the Board W policies may result in suspension or expulsion. Student parking is a privilege, not a right. The speed limit is 10 miles an hour on campus. Reckless driving will not be tolerated. Cars parked illegally will be towed at owner's expense. Riding the bus is a privilege, not a right. Misbehavior on the school bus may result in out-of-school suspension and loss of the privilege of riding the bus for the remainder of the school year. If a student assists, urges, advises another student to violate the behavior code, he or she will also be charged. Paragraph Q, parties to the offense. Parents, students, we know we have the best staff on, in Cobb County, probably even the state. We're really proud of everybody that's a stakeholder in our programs. Our bus drivers, our custodians, our staff, our teachers, our parapros, our secretaries, everybody is in, putting in a lot to make sure you are successful. And one group I'd like you to really look at and uh, congratulate is look at our building. It's beautiful and it's maintained by just 10 people. 10 people take care of over 75 acres, over uh, 300,000 square feet of building and that is our custodians. They take a lot of pride in making sure you have a clean and safe environment. So please help us keep it clean. Mom and Dad isn't here anymore you have to make sure you t clean up your uh, lunchroom tables, your breakfast tables, throw the trash away, recycle if you can, remember, but please help our custodians keep this building clean so we all can show the respect and pride in our school. Parents and students, we're about four things at Kennesaw Mountain High School. Academics, I'll say it again, academics, acts of uh, service, arts, and athletics. Those are our four pillars, and we excel at each. Now, I want to talk to you a little bit about academics. Coming from the eighth grade to the ninth grade, there's what's called a ninth grade hole. A lot of students fall in it because all of a sudden, you have freedom. You don't have to follow in a line. You can go where you want. You are making decisions. You are accountable for everything you do, not your mom and dad you are accountable. You are accountable for your grades. So that ninth grade hole is you went from very strict, you're told what to do, when to do it, and how to do it, to all of a sudden you have freedom. And sometimes you don't know what the expectations are. And therefore your grade suffers. That's why we had Mustang Way and we found out that most people that take the Mustang Way classes don't fall into that ninth grade hole. We have ninth grade orientation to let you meet your teachers, see the expectations. And then we have the ninth grade walk. But we also have something else. If you do falter, what you need to do is come and see me. I can set up tutoring. We'll pay, the school will pay for it. If tutoring's not working and you failed a test, we have Saturday school 
It's called credit recovery. Check with your teacher syllabus to see if they participate in that. It's a uh, four-hour class on Saturdays. You'll get remediation through a computer system. You'll retake the test, and if you score an 80 or higher, you'll get a 70 on that test to keep your grades going. If that doesn't work and you fa end up failing the course between a 65 and a 69, we have credit extension. That's a two-week class after school at the end of the semester for you to make up work, relearn what you did not pass, and as long as you pass every test with an 80, you'll get a 70 in the course. And again, if that doesn't work, we have fifth period. Fifth period is a class after school. It runs from 345 to 515 for three or four months. So you can make up a class just in case you failed one to stay on track for graduation and to stay with your class. So if you are having trouble with your academics, come and see me. I'm in room 316 and let's put together a plan to get you back on track. Thank you very much. Wait, there are rules? Like here? Next clip. Hello, welcome, Kennesaw Mountain class of 2023. Good morning, I'm Dr. Engel and I'm in charge of the magnet program here at Kennesaw Mountain. So all of you will kind of run into me at one way or another, but while you're here, um, if you ever need me, I'm located upstairs in the 600 hall in 611. And a couple things that I want you to think of while you're here getting started as your freshman year in high school is keep in mind balance. You're gonna work hard, but make sure you get involved, get involved in extracurriculars, meet friends, and play hard as well. Things to think of in high school is keeping organized. You'll hear students say they procrastinate. Don't procrastinate. Create a calendar, do your homework, and ask questions. Sometimes we don't wanna ask questions in class, but always think if you're thinking of it, some of your peers are as well. So ask questions, keep a calendar, get involved, and have a great time while you're here at the mountain. Look forward to four years from now when you'll be graduating. Hey, Blake. Boy, come here. Uh, the coffee. Coffee's empty. Coffee. Also, we don't we don't have a joke for this next one. Can you just do something funny, entertain us? Yeah, dance for us. Oh, I guess I can try. Dance for us, boy. Uh, <laughs> all right. You, all right. Get out uh, of here. I don't want to see that. Anymore. Get out of here. It's disgusting. Good morning, class of 2023. My name is Ms. Mitchell, and I'm one of the assistant principals here at Kennesaw Mountain High School. I'm also over all of the 11th grade discipline, social studies, ESOL, and the world language department. You'll also see me when you're doing testing because I handle all the testing in the school and ACT and SAT prep. Speaking of that, make sure that you work really hard your first semester because it's the biggest semester for your GPA for college. Also, if you have any questions about SAT or ACT prep, you can come and see me. My office is in room 200. And again, welcome to the mountain. Go Mustangs. Hey guys, I'm Ms. Capucci, the front office clerk. When you come into the school, this is what you see. When your parents come to check you out, you check out in the attendance office and then you come up here to meet them. If you lose anything, you come up here and look in the lost and found. If you need to know where something is because you don't know where it is or you're not quite sure, you can come and ask me. And when you're older, you'll come to me for parking. When your parents come in, they'll come to me to check you out. See you soon. Welcome to the mountain. We're just going to go to the nurse's station. I just want you to do like a quick interview. All right, just ask a few questions. Try to get the freshmen familiar. Like, oh, no, help, 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 help. This one, this one. Okay, okay. Uh, to the nurse. Okay, give me the nurse. Hi, I'm Leslie Kitchen, school nurse here at Kennesaw Mountain. Welcome to the mountain. Um, our clinic is open from 8.30 until 3.15 every day. You will be required to carry a pass. Um, you need to receive that from your teacher prior to coming to the clinic or you will be sent back to get um, a pass before I'll be seeing you. Uh, just a reminder, you're now in high school. Uh, you will be allowed to carry over-the-counter medications with you. Um, they need to be in their original container. Um, and anything other than that, you will uh, be required to receive through the clinic. Uh, we will hold over-the-counter medications uh, 
in the clinic for you as long as they have the appropriate paperwork and in the original container. All prescription medications must come through the clinic. Uh, your parents will need to bring those in. They will need to be um, brought in through the front office and brought into the clinic uh, for you to receive those from me on a daily basis. Um, EpiPens, inhalers, insulin, those are emergency medications and can be carried by you. Uh, we prefer to have action plans in the clinic and uh, be glad to talk to any parents or you directly about those. Uh, be glad to pass out any um, paperwork you need and be glad to answer any questions you have. Welcome to Kennesaw Mountain. And now we have a special segment about the attendance office made by our friend Leo. Leo, come say a word to the freshmen. Hola niños, soy Leo. Estoy aquí con esos chamacos aquí. Ellos no saben nada. Son gringos. Pero sí, son muy chamacos aquí. Funny guy. <laughs> Funny yeah. guy. What, what a guy. Gotta love him. Yeah. Great. Did he get any of that? A little bit, yeah. Hi, my name is Lodis Marchmix and I am your attendance clerk. Freshmen, welcome to Kennesaw Mountain. Today I'm going to show you how we do things in the attendance office. Sending a note and calling ahead is recommended when checking out your student. In the morning, when you turn in a note and it's verified, you will get a pass. When it's time for you to leave, you come down here and you check out here. Your pass will be swapped with this one. Make sure you keep the yellow pass upon signing out because it will serve as your pass going back to class if you are returning that day. If you arrive late to school, you need, you need to make sure that you sign in here in the attendance office. If you are late between classes, you need to make sure that you go to one of the alias machine to print a tardy pass. If you were absent previously and you need to turn in your excuse note, you need to come here. There's a green form that you need to fill out with your information and staple it with your note and drop it in the box. If you need a bus pass, I need to have the parent permission note by 10 o'clock, by 10 o'clock, or else it won't be processed. As you notice, we have a lot going on here in the attendance office, but I want you to remember the few very, very, very important things. Nobody should leave campus without checking out through attendance office, and remember, in your handbook from page 16 to page page 20 you will find information about attendance from checking out checking in tardy bus notes everything that you need thank you and again welcome to Kennesaw Mountain High School next we have the counseling office what can we even say about that I don't know I'm out of it can Whoa. I be on it again I'm starting to enjoy right. down there hey, the we're live we're live okay Get wait back. stop was it down there the don't whole do time don't do that again don't do that again please Please, can um, I be on camera? I'm calling HR. Do you need Blake. someone to talk to? Do you need help with your academics, with your schedule? These are the people to go to. Hi, everyone. I'm Mrs. Placey. I'm the first face you'll usually see when you enter the counseling office at KMHS. I am the counseling clerk, and you can ask me questions about transcripts, getting help, seeing your counselors. We have five counselors who work here at KMHS. Ms. Phillips is in charge of students from letters A through G-O, Ms. Garcia, G-R through O, Mr. Lloyd, P through Z, Ms. Leroy does all the magnet students, including the freshmen, and we have a new counselor, Ms. Roll, who does special projects and registrations. So if you need us for academic help, for scheduling help, for emotional help, please come to the counseling office and we'll be happy to welcome you. Now to the cafeteria manager. You're in for a treat. <laughs> Good one, man. Well, hi, freshmen. Welcome to Kennesaw Mountain. My name is Anjanette Barker, and I'm your cafeteria manager. We have lots of wonderful treats for you. We have six lines available, from chicken tenders and fries to fresh-made sub sandwiches. You can even make your own salad every day. We will also have pre-orders, which you can uh, participate in via email. We have a food cart that's available during breakfast and in lunch hours. We even grill outside in the courtyard. So if you need anything, please stop by and see me at my office. I'd love to meet you. Welcome to the mountain, Mustangs. Have a great day. <laughs> Boy, that sure made me hungry. <laughs> <laughs> 
And now to Main Link, your student government. Hello there, my name is Sophia Castro and I'm your student body president and I'd like to wish a warm welcome to the class of 2023. Here at the Mountain, we believe that everybody has the power to make an impact. And there's so many ways that you guys can get involved here at the Mountain, whether it's through the variety of clubs that we have or our excellent team sports. Whatever it is, make sure to find your place here at the Mountain and make these next four years to come the best of your life. Hey guys, my name is Laura Hewitt and Kalika Satish and I are your freshman advisors. Just a few reminders before you start your year at KMHS is that your GPA does matter. After your freshman year, your GPA only moves about 0.5 points, so it's important to have a strong foundation. Also, last chance walkthrough is this upcoming Wednesday, July 31st from 5 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. I highly recommend you guys come because it'll gain more confidence for the start of your freshman year. I hope you guys have a great year at KMHS and a good time at freshman orientation. Hello Mustangs, my name is Sam Dumbowitz and I'm your student body vice president of operations. I'm here to talk to you about our program today. When you arrived, you should have received your J policy paperwork packet along with your student handbook. Assuming you filled out these papers, you will have received your student schedule. We recommend you follow the schedule exactly as it is what your student will experience throughout the semester. Each class period is 10 minutes exactly and the teacher will run through a brief synopsis and answer any quick questions that you may have. After this 10 minute period, the bell will ring and you will have five minutes to get to your next class period. And now to Ivani with more details. Hey guys, my name is Ivani Patel and I'm an uprising senior and I'm your student body vice president of human resources. So while you're here going to all your classes, if you feel like you're lost or you don't know where you're going next, don't worry, our student government will be here to help you guys g figure out where you're going next. So you'll know it's us because we'll have our black button downs and our khaki pants. And while you're here, we would just really want to highlight for these next four years to stay as involved as you can in what we're doing here. So for students, that could be joining a club or joining a sport. And for parents, you guys can stay updated through our PTSA organization. Um, don't forget to check out our school store to see our latest spirit wear. And lastly, I just want to welcome all of you guys to our Mustang family. Hey guys, we're just going to introduce our dress code video now. Let's talk about dress code. Here's a quick guide on dress code to get you started. Let's begin at the top. Head coverings. No hats of any kind are allowed. This includes other items that cover the face and head. No caps, no hoodies, no bandanas, no buffs, or even sunglasses. The guidelines for clothing are really simple. First, no sheer or see-through garments. No plunging or low-cut necklines. Sundresses and strapless shirts or dresses can only be worn with a sweater or a jacket. Spaghetti straps are a no-go. Straps must be as wide as three fingers. Midriffs should never be visible even while arms are raised. Sleeveless shirts or t-shirts with side slits are never appropriate. Remember, leggings and jeggings are not pants. Be sure to wear a shirt over them that is at least 8 inches above the knee. While holes, tears, and rips may be in fashion, KMHS students should never have holes above the knees. Sagging is never a good look and it's not allowed. Cover up your backside or you may get your britches zip tied so they can stay up. We expect you to wear your pants as they are intended to be worn, at the waistline, and not like this. Now we all love our comfy shoes, but no, you can't wear your favorite slippers to school. And remember to take your pajamas off before you come to school. Now what happens if you get to school and you're not in dress code? You have three options. One change into acceptable attire. Two, call home to ask your parent to bring you other clothing. Or three, you'll have to sit in ISS for the day. It's important to always look your best. If you're not sure, check your student handbook. It gives you all the details. Now freshmen, you've already passed the hardest test and that is sitting through this boring video. Well, except for that one test in Mr. <laughs> that was awful. I know, I hated that Oh my god, that class, if I, freshman, if I could give you one piece of advice, do not take that class. It is my biggest regret coming into this high school. 
and it will be my biggest regret leaving this high school, possibly for the rest of my life. Oh yeah, that sure. was just an awful experience altogether. Yeah. Have a wonderful day, and have a great high school experience. <laughs>